Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the quest Roving Elves. The quest requirements are Regicide and Waterfall, and there are no stat requirements. I just need it. Simply a rope and a spade. Also, just like in the Waterfall quest, we will need to enter Glarial's tomb, and in there, we will need to defeat a Comet 84 Moss Guardian. And inside of the dungeon, there is no armor, weapon, runes, or arrows allowed. Also, protection prayers are also disabled. For the recommended items, just bring some weight reducing clothing and one stamina potion should be enough, as well as Glarial's Pebble if you still have that in your bank. If you don't, then just bring a teleportation method to the Tree Nob Village. To help you with the fight against the Comet 84 Moss Guardian, bring some food, potions, maybe a Ring of Recoil, and enchanted jewelry will also be allowed inside of that dungeon, as well as a goblin paint cannon, which you can buy from Diego in Drainer Village. This weapon provides no stats and just allows you to kick one tick faster. For the teleports, one teleport to the three known village. I'm going to be using a Grand Exchange teleport, but you only need to bring that teleport if you do not own Glarial's Pebble. Then one teleport to Glarial's Tomb, which is south of Coal Trucks, between Barbaran Assault and the Fishing Guild. Two teleports to Isavdar. I suggest you to bring two teleports to Ardoin and take a charter ship to Port Tyrus. Then also one teleport to a Waterfall Dungeon. The fastest way would probably be the Game Snackless to BA, or once again a Fishing Guild teleport and one teleport away after the quest is completed. Now, where to start this quest? Go to any Charter crew member and Charter to Port Tyrus. You can start this quest in Isavdar at three different locations. And Port Tyrus, the closest one to Port Tyrus, if you just exit Port Tyrus and just make a U-turn, they'll find a stick strap. If you just exit Port Tyrus and just make a U-turn, they'll find a stick strap. Just spam click on it to pass through without getting any damage. And in here you'll find either ashes or a fire with two NPCs. If there are ashes, then you will need to use the world switcher and go to any other world until you found the two elves. Once you've found the two elves, let's talk to the male one, Islin. Select option 1 and agree to help to complete the burial of Glarial so that the male elf will trust you and take you to their hidden village. After the conversation is over, let's talk to the female, Elinette, and she will tell you how to get the concentration seed. Next, we will need to enter Glarial's tomb and therefore we will need Glarial's pebble. If you don't own that one, then make your way to the tree gnome village. If you do own Clarios Pebble, then you can skip this part and make your way to Clarios Tomb. Before you're able to get access into Clarios Tomb via the Pebble, deposit all your weapons, armor, runes, arrows, as well as tools that will make you armor, weapons, and arrows. For those who have lost their Clarios Pebble, make your way to the dungeon just south of the Tree Gnome Village and head into the Eastern Room. If there is in the southeastern corner a odd colored crate, search it and you'll find a key. Bring this to the western room and give this to Golri and he will trade it for you for Galerial's Pebble. If there is no odd colored crate in the southeastern corner of the eastern room, that means that Golri has already lured the hobgoblins into the prison just north. 
then just head into the western room, talk to Golri, and he will give you a pebble once again. Once we have the pebble, let's make our way to Galeriel's tomb. If you still need to bank, then withdraw your food, potions, ring of recoils, enchanted jewelry that can boost your stats, as well as food. The max hit of the combat 84 is 14. You can use the bank in Ordoin, the fishing guild, or barbarian outpost. Make your way northwest of the fishing guild. Here you'll find Glitterell's tombstone. If you've brought teleport runes, then make sure to drop them in front of the tomb and then use the pebble on the tombstone and defeat the combat 84 moss guardian. Doesn't matter which one. Now the thing is, you cannot use overhead prayers. The moss giant will just completely ignore it. Equip your enchanted jewelry, your ring of recoil, maybe your goblin paint cannon and defeat the moss guardian hopefully within one minute before your runes despawn if you've brought any Once the Moss Garden has been defeated, look on your minimap and you'll find a red dot. Try to look for the concentration seed and then head into the western room. Open the chest to find Clarial's amulet. Once we have this, let's head back upstairs and take our dropped runes. If, however, you did not receive Clarial's pendant from the chest, that means that it is currently in your bank. And let's make our way back to Elanet. I think the fastest way to get to a charter ship would be to traveling to Remington via Captain Bar Baby south of uh, Ardoin. If you know of a faster way how to get to a trader crew member, then be sure to use that one. Let's return to Port Tyrus, exit Port Tyrus, make a U turn, and talk to Elanet to enchant the concentration seed. Let's talk to Elanet, she will enchant it. And next, we will need to make our way to the Waterfall Dungeon. I'm going once again via the Fishing Guild. You could also use your Ardoin Teleport or a BA Teleport. From Ardoin and the Fishing Guild, run north. From BA, run south. To Elena's house, where there is a pretty common hard clue step, I think.
Let's board the raft, then use the minimap to go south of the island and use your rope on the other side on the rock. Then use your rope on the dead tree to go down to descend. Equip Clarewell's pendant or amulet, then open the door. Let's head into the eastern room. Let's go to the northern wall. They'll find two stacked crates. Search that one for a key. Just like in the waterfall quest. Then head west into the western room. Passing some fire giants. Max hit of 12. And enter the northern room. It's a classic quest. Do you need to use a key? Nope. Open the second door to enter a instance. Next, go stand onto the mount. Do not click on a chalice, else you will be flushed away. Just stand somewhere on the mount and click on the concentration seed to plant this crystal tree. Once this is done, we will simply need to return to Islin at the quest start to complete our quest. As well as start the following quest, Moorings End Part 1, so we get an easy teleport to Letya. Well, you don't have to start Moorings End Part 1 right away, but the alternative is that you will need to make your way back to Port Tyrus and make your way back to the Elven hideout with the fire or the ashes and try to hop worlds until you found Elenet once again. So, congratulations, you've completed the Roving Elves quest. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 10,000 strength experience, ability to equip crystal stuff, as well as the option to get a free crystal bow or crystal shield. Now, you do need a crystal bow for a Western Promises Diary task, so I will be taking that one. Mashkaya. <gasps> yes! There they are, man. There they are. Let's talk to Islin to complete this quest. And after we have chosen a shield or bow, you might get an option to start the following quest if you meet the requirements to complete Moonies and Port 1. Simply say yes to agree to meet with Erwin in Lecha, and from Elenet you will receive a teleport crystal with four charges. But after teleporting to Letya four times, you will need to recharge it by talking to Elenet. And Elenet can be found just outside of Letya. Just simply exit Letya, following the path straight south, and you'll find a rare tree sign and a quest sign. There you'll find every five minutes Elenet, and she will recharge your crystal teleport. You do no longer need your Key and okay, thanks, bye.